All right, update of a, an older video, finding the pH of a weak acid solution. What if you have 0.1 moles per liter of acetic acid, which has this particular Ka, 1.8 times 10 to the negative five. How are you going to find the pH? The first thing that you're gonna need is the dissociation equation. What happens when acetic acid dissolves in water? Now, I know what the formula for acetic acid is, but even if I didn't, I could write something. I know it's an acid, so it has a proton, and I'm just gonna call the rest of the molecule A for acid. HA breaks up into H plus and whatever's left over with a little minus charge on it. This is my dissociation equation. Come up with Ka for this, or the equilibrium expression for the acid giving up its proton. The equilibrium expression is the concentration of each of the products time, or over the concentration of each of the reactants. Piece of cake, son. What we really need, though, are the concentrations of each of these at equilibrium. How do you do that? The way that you do that is with something called an ice table. Ice stands for initial concentration and equilibrium concentrations. Because the HA is breaking up into H plus and A minus. The initial concentration of each, well, we're starting with 0.1 moles per liter of this and none of these. What's the change? Well, some of this is going to break apart. So it's going to go down by some unknown amount. We'll call it X. These will have corresponding increases of X. Finally, what's the equilibrium concentration? Well, it's whatever we started with, with the change factored in. This will be 0.1 less some amount. This will be zero plus some amount. And this will also be zero plus some amount. These equilibrium concentrations are what get filled into the Ka equation. So, Ka using the equilibrium concentrations gives 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals H plus is X. A minus is X. HA is 0 0.1 minus X. And this is the equation you have to solve in order to find X, which is the concentration of H plus which is what you need if you're calculating pH. The question is how to solve this. There's two ways to do it. The first and longest way is with the quadratic equation. You can multiply the left-hand side of the equation by the denominator. This is x squared. You'll get something times x plus something else over here. Move it over, quadratic formula, done. Your teacher may prefer you to use some kind of mathematical assumption to simplify the way that you do it. What is that kind of mathematical assumption, you ask? Well, if Ka is very small, especially relative to the initial concentration here, you may be able to make an assumption. Some people use something called the 100 rule, which is where you take your initial concentration, divide it by your Ka, and if this number turns out to be more than 100, you're good to go. I did that on my calculator, and I got 5,000 something. That is bigger than 100. So I can assume that x is very, very, very small relative to my point one. 
What does that mean, assumption-wise? It means that 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is x squared divided by 0 0.1. Notice these two equations and how they're similar. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 equals x squared over, and I was able to just drop the minus x because we're assuming x is small. And again, the reason we can make that assumption is that this ratio is bigger than 100. This is a piece of cake to solve. All I have to do is move my point 0.1 over. How do you undo division? Well, with multiplication. So I'm going to multiply the left-hand side of my equation by that point 0.1. That gives me 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 equals x squared. How do you solve for x here? The answer is with your calculator, 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Let's see if I can hold this so you can see what's going on. And how do you undo a little squared on the x? Got a little button called the square root key here. I'm going to take the square root of the answer and it gives me 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3. 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 is my x. Now if your teacher is all extra about it, they're going to want you to verify your assumption. What verifying your assumption actually is, is making sure that this number 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 is actually small relative to your initial concentration. Your teacher is going to want to make sure that that's less than 5%. Anything above 5% and the accuracy of your assumption starts to dwindle a little bit. So we prefer that it's less than 5%. Sometimes a teacher will say, oh, if it's more than 5%, you have to go back and solve this with the quadratic formula. Whatever, not my problem, it's your problem. If it's less than 5%, which it is in the case of my calculation, yep, less than 5%, you're good to go. We're not done yet though, because we still have to calculate the pH. That was the original question. Take a look. To calculate the pH of something, you need the negative log, the concentration of H+. Plus. What's the concentration of H+. Plus? The concentration of H plus is x. x is 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3. Plug that into your calculator and press enter. Negative log. 1.34 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Can you see that? I got 2.87, which is also the answer that the textbook I stole this question is from got. Same answer in the textbook. That's all I'm saying. And that's the pH of this weak acid. Best of luck.